Engineering Crucible, we're doing problem 1239. We're finally at the home stretch for the chapter 12 problems. Remember, we always do the fundamental problems because you can always check the book and see your results. And if you're new, these are the problems I always recommend to do as you're going to begin tackling your homework or prepare for a test. Um, as these problems are um, tricky enough to get you ready for uh, an exam. So we're doing, um, you know, these poly problems, and a lot of people get confused here. And some things you guys want to know or, or begin to understand is that you're only going to have one equation for each uh, for each string that's in the for each string that's present in the poly system. So here I'm kind of highlighting that one string in blue. Okay, so one string, one equation, right? And I always recommend to set a datum. So we're gonna set our datum up here at a fixed point, right? Because we don't want our datum to have, um, you know, to be moving around. Okay. And another thing you want to do is set your coordinate system. So let's just say this is the positive x-axis. This is your positive y-axis. Okay. So let's uh, let's delete this part. Okay. And now they want you to determine the velocity of block D if and A of the rope is pulled down with a speed of VA equals three meters per second. So we know VA is, you know, we're, we're yanking on this, right? So we have someone pulling on this. Here's their thumb, their hand, right? And they're bringing it down. So what's going to happen to this pulley system? Right, you want to first visualize it um, because physics don't doesn't lie. So we're going to pull this down. So this block D is going to end up moving up. Okay. So our final velocity should be positive, or you know, should be going up in the positive y direction. V A is going down in the negative y direction. Okay. Just make sure you have that in mind. Now let's let's begin setting up an equation. So, you know what I'm gonna do here is say, okay, this this chunk of uh, of the rope is I'm gonna name it LC, right? But if we move over to this one, right? There's another same same length piece of rope LC, okay? And again, if we move over here to this side of the rope, that's another length LC. Okay. So as A is being pulled down, all these three strings are going to be, um, they're going to be uniform in length. So, you know, L, that's why they're all called LC, LC, LC. If one of these strings were to change length, then we wouldn't be able to call it LC. All right. Um, so we can say, okay, this, oh yeah. And then to finalize this, this piece of string is going to be LA. LA, LA. So L sub A plus 3 L sub C's is equal to the total length of the this whole string. Okay. So now what happens, or what do we do? We want to take one time derivative, right? And we're going to get VA plus 3 VC equals 0. So remember, this is constant. The length of the string is going to always remain constant, no matter, you know, if, if we had to draw this diagram again and, you know, the string was pulled all the way down, you might see the pulley system like this, right? So LC got really short but LA got really long, okay? Terrible drawing. All right, so now what do we do after this? Well, we, we have our information that's needed and we have that VA is equal to minus three VC, okay? And then we have that VA, all right, we plug in, all right, they're giving us a scalar quantity over here, three meters per second. But we know it's going down, which I'm going to call 
minus 3 meters per second and this is VC is minus 3 or sorry this the right hand side of the equation is minus 3 VC divide out the, the negative 3 right so we get VC is equal to 1 meter per second notice how we got a positive value here so that kind of agrees with what we had in mind in the beginning we want to make sure that VD is going up if you had to flip the sign and you, you let's say you're pushing up the rope or let's say VD is has a speed of one meter per second going down then we will see uh, VA flip signs as well it will be going at, um, you know a positive three meters per second up all right so that's something you want to keep in mind when you're doing these problems also notice how you know you want to catch that um, these this string this string and this string are all the same length no matter uh, the length of LA okay but yeah that's pretty much it very quick problem getting your feet wet all right uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video uh, don't forget to subscribe like the video and um, if you have questions or comments just drop them down below and I'll definitely will get back to you thanks guys